What's poppin' people? It's Eric Joe coming back at you with another Magic Arena video. Um, just wanted a friendly reminder that my username is Morty1022, number 85681. So if you want to add me, uh, go ahead and send me your request and I would be happy to direct challenge you or be direct challenged by you. So in this video, um, I'm going to do another Rank Draft Theorist Beyond Death. It says it ends in 17 hours which is concerning because I like it's like my favorite format to do the rank draft um, but yeah let's just hop in and see what happens so I'm gonna spend gold I had like 1800 gold or something or like 1600 gold um, and I've just been spending it on draft so here we go let's see what we got Galio the Endless Dance is the rare Hateful Eidolon Anax okay <clears throat> Index like when your creatures die, you get a one one that can't block, and then if it had four power or more, then you get two. If Idolon has been very good for me, Galia, the two mana two two with haste. Other saviors get plus one plus one and haste. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random if you draw two cards. Huh. So if I pick that, it shoehorns me into. Red green, which I don't like. <clears throat> but if I pick Anax, I can do red plus whatever. Also in this pack, Dreadful Apathy is good. Final Death. <clears throat> Some decent, like, two drops. This is a decent spell. Omen of the Hunt. Relentless Pursuit. I wouldn't really consider first picking those. Um... I think I pick Anax just to kind of stay more open. I don't want to go right into red green right off the bat. Although these two cards do go in like the same deck, so I'm gonna try Anax and see where I leads me. Oh, drag to the underworld. Nice. Heliod's punishment also good. This card's decent. Um, gets double strike if you play an enchantment. Uh, not much else. Not much else. I think Drag is a clear pick. It's like one of the best uncommons in the set. So we could head into Red Black, like Sacrifice. But that's not really a huge theme. Like you can do that in your in your deck, but stealing their stuff and sacrificing it like isn't really a huge thing. Although here we go with this one. Whenever you sack a permanent, put a woman counter on it. Okay, okay. Also, Lampad of Death's Vigil is good in the Sacrifice deck because it's a Sacrifice Outlet. Pretty cheap. One mana, although I like my Sacrifice Outlets to be free. But this one is only one mana, so... Of any color, which is good. Um, what else? <coughs> Venomous Hierophant. Mills you for three. Are kind of falling stars. Um, you know, I'm not gonna do white this time. I'm just calling it right now. I'm just, I'm not doing it. This is a very strong card, though. But um, I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, so blood aspirant. Cause I kind of always play white. So I think this is the pick. Um, sacrifice a creature. Pay two. To pay two and tap, sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block. So this removes blockers. It can get pretty big. Um, it's between that and the lamp, the lamp pad. You know, I'm gonna try this one since it isn't uncommon. I mean, you can probably find another one of these. So yeah, I'm gonna take the blood ash. <clears throat> Faithful end is a good removal spell. 3 damage to any target, and scry one, solid, uh, life gainy, devotion -y, greeny, one, um, omen of the forge is good too, and then this guy's a solid 2 drop, this guy cares about 4 power, which our deck might do, but not worth a pick right now, I think faithful end is the pick, although I do like omen of the forge too, do you want to pick a couple of those up? But, uh... 
Yeah, it's definitely between those two. Do you take the cheaper one or this? I think this one is just, it's just better. Yeah, it kills bigger stuff. So yeah, I'll take that. Okay, what else we got? Not much in the way of black. Only temple thief in this pack. Um, escape velocity is interesting. One mana for plus one plus oh in haste can be good. Nessian Wander is a good card because it just fills your hand with lands. Um, solid. Also solid. This one is like a 2 mana 3-3 three, three flyer, which is good. But we're not in that deck right now. Omen of the Sun. Um, this card like just routinely blows me out. <laughs> just a very solid omen. Two creatures and two lights, so... Plus you scry. It's crazy. Uh, so we don't have any... Oh, we have one two drop. Okay. Let's fill out that curve. This card is possibility. Flash, flash and first strike and plus two plus oh. Can be solid. But um, I like the haste thing. Keeps coming back. It's only two mana and exile two cards. I don't know. It's kind of just like a nothing card. Um, uh, not really excited about anything in this pack. Maybe I take the two drop, or eh, I'll try. I'll try escape velocity. We'll try it. So here's our red card. Oh, here's the lamp pad. I do want that. This card's six mana. Basically, you pay three mana and sack a permanent, non-land permanent. <coughs> And you're, you're kind of chaos warping yourself if you're familiar with that. Um, <clears throat> eh, you'll probably get like a two drop off of it. Eh. I'm not very excited about that. Um, Hero of the Games is solid. If you're targeting your guys, throw a possibility. Eh, meh. Better in Eldraine. Um, this one, second creature or enchantment. Well, it's, it could be good. They have like one threat, but I don't know. I do want the lamp pad though. Um, it's good in this deck, so we're trying it. <clears throat> so, oh, here's Omen of the Forge. And not much else for us. Here's Soul Reaper of Mogus. I do want one of these, but I think I, need, I do want the removal. So, Omen of the Forge. So this is a good sack target. This Temple Thief is... Solid. You do want two drops, but I have several now. I have two two drop creatures so far. Um, <clears throat> pure position. I mean, it's good to sack. Can kill something. So uh, I think in this deck it's good. It's probably better than Temple Thief in this deck. So yeah, we'll try it. Okay, Portent of Betrayal and Final Flare. Sack a creature enchantment, five damage to target creature. Huh. Okay. The Portent of Betrayal. This is removal for five damage to target only creatures, though. <sighs> I want to play this and then use this, so. Um. Jeez. I'll probably pick one, one of these later. I think I'll just take the removal. <clears throat> Infuriate is kind of the only pick. This is our original. No, is this original pick? I remember seeing this before. Um, I think white is open. Must be open. Infuriate is the clear pick here. And we'll take this. And we'll take free one of these. And hey, we got this. Okay. Okay, throw possibility. I think I'm going with that for the sideboard. Oh my god, okay. Well, I think you just play this. Oh man. This is awkward. So, five mana for a four five flash flying, but you can just ambush anything. Spells you cast with converted mana costs five or greater costs. 
one less to cast and can't be countered. So that will take us wildly off of our plan, which is to steal stuff and sack creatures. It's so good though. Uh, double blue. I guess, okay, what's our black card? We have this, this, and this is black cards. You know, it is very flashy, but it's not for our deck. Sorry. Uh, tri other wise, we have Triumph of Anax. So the turn target creature gains trample. And plus X plus zero, where X is the number of lore counters on the Triumph of Anax. And then target creature fights another target. So, that's pretty good. It's removal and pump, so that's solid. Also, another good two drop. And this thing, so I think Triumph of Anix has enough upside that I'll pick that. Okay, we got a Timbret. Um, Cure the Games or Incendiary Oracle. Not that heavy in black right now, but, they, but we could be. Are there any good red cards? Um, this guy just gets around. I think Timurin is just the pick, yeah. Ooh. Oh, we got a Catablepus. There we go. That's the pick for sure. What else? Staring inside is solid, but we're not near that. This card is... Helps your opponent by putting three cards in the graveyard. And then you exile two cards from graveyards. You get one life. Like a mini Timurin. Then return to our creature land from your rear to your hand. It's just so slow and doesn't do enough. Uh, this card's been really good. Like, the Shimmering Chimera, like, just gets you a ton of, a ton of value off of your, your omens and whatever other cool enchantment stuff you got going. But yeah, we're, we're bleeping. We are bleeping. Another lamp pad. Satyr's Cunning. Created Seder. Maybe if we took Gallia first, we might take this. But gosh, is this just a bad card? Ha like, I heard LSV saying like 60 to 70 percent of what 1-1 one, one tokens are good for is blocking, and this fails at that. So that's just unfortunate. So I'm not taking it. So this is a solid two drop. Comes back as a four two. Um, not bad. You could sack it to lamp pad. I think we just want another lamp pad though. Car's just good. Okay, underworld dreams. Uh, you know, could live the dream and have this and timber it. And that's not really a good dream, but yeah. But we got some beef up here. Already have one of those Nick Swarm brutes. Don't want that. This guy, we're not really doing flash stuff very much. Not very many. We got instant. This is an instant. It's got flash. So it's conceivable we could. Eh, that's got flash. Conceivable we could get this guy online. But this is in the pack and just five mana, four or five. I mean, it's just big beef, and I, I like some of that beef in my limited decks, so eh, it's kind of up in the air then I mean these might not even make the cut but I'll, I'll try this more of it. <clears throat> so the only card in our colors is rapid flames when damage each of up to three target creatures those creatures can't block this turn four mana oh my gosh this card's pretty bad I think we just take the equipment. Man, there's four green cards in this pack. No black and one bad red card. Right. Yeah, bronze sword. Again, same bad card. That's weird. Uh, I'll take an uncommon. We don't have any. Some of these are coming into our deck. Okay, so one of these. 
or Temple Thief. Well, I kind of want some black stuff for Timurit. Um, it's Field of Ruin, meh. Like, you're kind of sad to have this in your deck unless they have Scofos, and then you're thrilled to have it in your deck. But we're doing we're doing best of one, so can't really sideboard it in. Um, Temple Thief, which two drop is better? It's kind of hard to say. This guy gets in there, and this guy has more power. I think it's the Ray Challenge. Okay, uh... Between the 4-3 and the 2-3. So one more mana and two more power. It does nothing else. This one you can sacrifice. I'll do this one. I do want one of those. Here are the games, or Nixhorn Marauder. Um... Could get my guys bigger. I'll try this one. Take that cheaper one. And another one of these, and not gonna play it. Okay. T another one of these. Jeez. And this guy. Okay, what so do we have pack three? Nessie and Boar. Okay, so Oh, another drag to the underworld. Well, this is a clear pick, but um anyway. Nessie and Boar. There was a draft where this was in the pack, and I just breezed over it. But I played it in a in-person draft, an IRL draft, and it was good. Like it's just so big, and there it just kills their entire board. Yes, they draw three or four cards, but like um, some of those are going to be lands, and you, you just killed three or four creatures, so. It's solid, um, and I kind of, I sort of regret not taking it, or not even considering it at that time, but, yeah, I had a black green deck, it was pretty sweet, um, but there's Dragon of the Underworld in this pack, and I would, you'd all be mad at me if I didn't take it, so, I mean, no, we're not splashing that, yeah, it's just drag, yeah. Okay, um, favor, no. Another one of these. Triumph of Anax. Um, Omen of the Dead. I do want one of those. Another, another temple. I think we're not going to end up with any temple thieves. We have one, two, three, two drops. Four. Four two drop creatures. Which is solid. I think I want Omen of the Dead just to get some value out of the graveyard. Another Triumph of Anax. Wish we had that. Oh, Final Death is in here. Okay. Um, that's the pick, but I already have one of these. And this is not in our color, not in our colors. Uh, another interesting pick would be this. We have one. Yeah, it's just Final Death is the pick here. Another Blood Aspirant. Um, interesting stuff. Probably this. But it's a 2 mana 1 1, which is pretty bad. Or a 1 mana 1 1. Hey. Some decent green stuff. But I still just hate this card. Um, here's a Rage Hound. Or we can do this Rage Scarred Berserker. What do I have at the top end here? I got Final Death, Nyxborn Brute, Scopos War Leader, and the Keto Bleepus. So, it's more beef if I pick this. But maybe we just lean heavy into this thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one. Okay, Inevitable End. Staggering Insight. This can be good with Timurit. Um, it's only one other card in our deck. Don't really care about ramping. Another Infuriate here of the games or Mogus' Favor. What's better between these two? This is a solid, uh, like, make them sack trick. Not really a trick, it's a enchantment, so. But, Fomogus' favor is good. 
Um, comes back. Can pump your dude. And we do want some targety stuff for this guy. It would make him a 5-1 if I put it on him. Well, in that turn it would be a 6-1 with the pump, so. Interesting, interesting. Um, kills X1s. Is that worth a card, though? Maybe. Yeah, it's just kind of a tough pick between these. Um, this has pretty good upside. I'm, I'm going to try another one. Furious Rise. Um, I do want, I want to try this one. Could splash it, but I have zero fixing. Oh, Omen of the Forge is here. And that's another final flare. And Aspect. But this one, you have your end step. If you control a creature with power, four greater, exile the top card of your library. You play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. So it's like conditional card advantage. But this just literally does nothing. Like by itself. And what do we have that's over four power? So, um, one, two, literally two cards in this deck. And so, um, I think I'm leaning on Omen of the Forge. But this guy's tempting to just splash. First of all, he'll create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. And then, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, because you can juggle plus one plus zero. Oh. <laughs> Tempting. But I think we're going to take the smart pack and take Omen. Okay, some uncommon gold stuff. Here's a libation. Or the Expo Marauders. Eh, we, have, we have a decent amount of removal already. I think I want the, the dude. Oh, this, how is this in the pack? They are not taking white cards. Jeez. This is pack three, so... Yeah, this card just snowballs value. It dies and get it back with Omen of the Forge. And then you just sack it and then get this back. Get Omen of the Forge. Like, it's just... <laughs> it's just stupid. Okay. Um, It's kind of a slow value engine, but it is an engine. You don't want this guy. Let's get some more beef, yeah. Um. Oh, here's one of these. Yeah, I'll take him. Another Triumph of Annex. Or Oracle of Mountains Blaze. Pay three, discard a card, and draw a card. Could be a good late game. Early on, it doesn't do much except block. There's Temple Thief, just better. Already have one. Oh, oh let's try this. Uh, another Triumph of Annex. Gosh, these are just going around. They bots do not value that card. I think it's good though. Do I want to? Probably not. The think room position is where it's at. Another two drop or a. F plus one plus one indestructible. Till end of turn. It gets an attack. Um, or do you just take the two drop? What do we have up here? Fine. This. One of those. I got some beef. I'll, I'll just take more beef. More beef, please. Infuriator. This is an itch. interesting pick. So we have an Infuriator already. That's a fair amount of one drop stuff. One, two, three, four, six one drop things. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're just here with the games. And this guy lasts, yep. So, we have an interesting black red deck. Two drag to the underworlds. Um, okay, we're cutting this, and. What else do we cut? We need to cut 11 cards. Jesus. Temple Thief. A lot of good stuff. I don't want to cut much remove. I want to be more, a little bit more controlly with some mid range. This thing, we're not, we don't have many four power things. I guess this could help, but Triumph of Annex could help. 
That's four power. This is four. These two are four power. Don't want, don't want two of those. I got. I got to cut the brute for sure. Just dies the three drops, and I'll be sad. Um, Catablepus could be good. Just like that card. I think I got this and final flare. I'm not excited about. Trade the Triumph of Anax. Very cuttable. Because it doesn't boost toughness. Um, it is removal with the fighting thing. But it takes for it's the world's most telegraphed fight. Um, let me cut the Oread. Oh, I want to try Triumph of Anax. Like maybe cut one of these and two drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. This synergizes with omens because you, you sack them. Um, this synergizes. Uh, let's see. Probably just one grim physician. What else are we cutting? What else are we cutting? Faithful end. Oh, well, that's removal. Um, how do we deal with gods, though? Don't think we can deal with a god. Unless we steal it and sack it or something. Can't, I don't have any stealing spells. Didn't get that any of those portent of the trails. Yeah, I think we just cut Anax. Yeah, sorry. Everybody's excited about that one. The sky is cuttable. Well, no four drops then. That's a little ups. It's a little upsetting. Two more cuts. Maybe a lamp pad. You don't want too many of those. And. Uh, Huh, escape velocity. Could target like hero of the games. Get in a big attack. Could be good. Fury A, do we care about that? Oh, it's a cheap cheap combat trick. What's more black, really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen black symbols. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, yeah. So more black. Um, what do I cut? What do I cut? What do I cut? Um, maybe I cut this guy. This guy immediately impacts the board. This guy... Like makes you sack stuff. Eh. I do like the extra toughness though. All right, eh, it's kind of up in the air. I'll, I'll cut that one. All right, we're trying this. Let's do it. Let's, okay. About twenty-eight minutes in. Red fog. Okay. We're currently in silver one. Um, oh. Okay, this is keepable. No two drops. And they have a one drop. Oh, there's a two drop. That's good. Okay. Current position. Would be happy to trade. If he attacks, I kill both of his creatures. <laughs> okay, there's another good one. Let's uh, get this out there, and we're gonna swing in. We are swinging in. Oh, I can't imagine you blocking this. That would be a punt if you block that. Another moss viper. Yikes. Okay, well, that's bad. Point it all in on these moss vipers. Um, let's get 
that's online. One has two cards left. And we attack. No, let's let's like sack that. Never mind. No attacks. Uh What do you do, opponent? It's mono green so far. Does nothing. You're fine with nothing. So I could fateful end his dude. Yeah, let's just do that. Get a scry going. Um, eh, we don't want that. And we attack. It's not black. Okay. When it does nothing. Good sign, good sign. I think we play this. Sack the Grim Physician. Sack a creature. Kill his minus one, minus one dude. I mean, Death Touch guy. Draw a card. Turn to nature. Oh. Yep, that kills that. Okay. Test the skirmisher. Point up playing mono green. Getcha. Mono green getcha. So I don't really care about my dude. Probably gonna. Oh, he's not blocking. Is he not blocking? Do you block it? He sure is. And what do I have? I have five cards in my graveyard. Do I Cato Bleep this biatch? Um, two, three, four, five, six. Could final death that, but I think I'll just get this guy out there. Let's exile three cards. One, two, one, two, three, yeah. So I do have Omen of the... Oven of the Dead, or whatever it's called. Okay. What you want to do, opponent? What you got? Satosin training? Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Yeah, I think I block. Unless he doesn't attack. Nope, not attack. Did not attack. Okay. We're gonna play a land. Um. Let's cattle bleep. And get rid of um, this guy. Well, he just gets bigger. Yeah, let's just kill this guy. It's weird how the aura goes off like that. Has to attack. You can just block it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got some value off of that. This card took care of like two of theirs. Okay. He's uh wants to kill the bleep. The bleep is. When it has nothing, we're gonna just get in with our three two. Point could have a. Th Thing, but I don't know what they would have. And we just play our hand. Wait, does he have stuff to that he cares about? Lots of crappy like two one and two drops. Um and we just play our hand. Fortunately nothing has four power. Huh. I guess we just activate. Get rid of... He has nothing good. This and this. Gain two life. 
Look at this, all the enchantment removal you could ever want. And they're flooded, hopefully nothing good at it. Yeah, okay. But we can just murder anything they play. And we'll play a land and pass. Final death is an instant. Opponent drew a land and is not doing anything. Oh, we got a woman of the dead, sure. And let's attack first. Ask questions. Second. And yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll play it now because we can play it during our. Do we have a forward power thing? Huh. Yeah, we'll get Timurit. And play Timurit. He's back. Opponent drew a land and is conceding to my aggro BS. Silver tier one, ranking up, baby. Oh, we didn't rank up that time, but yeah. So that went pretty well. Although our opponent's deck was just awful. Oh, we got a. Oh, we got the vault. Yay. Okay, we'll do that at the end. I get a bunch of wild cards and stuff off of that. I feel like one mythic. 100.4%. 100, Okay, Kazahara Khan. He's got the Fibble Thip logo, or dude. Um, not exciting, but I think we can rack this. Not a great hand. Ooh, opponent has the full art ones. Okay, we're gonna play this. I think there's any two mat one mana removal. Oh, we got the mirror. Okay. Well, we're gonna attack. Get in for one. Pass turn. I am jelly of those lands. Those are cool. Oh. Well, let's hope we draw a creature. There's not a creature. Sweet. Um, two damage to any target. Let's just wait. Let's wait. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I have to play it. Okay. Well, I'm going to play it. Should get it out of the hand. Yeah, let's just... Let's, uh, let's target you, opponent. And he probably takes final uh, drag. Or maybe he wants final death because that exiles. Man, Elspeth's Nightmare is just a solid all around card. Kills her two drop. Yeah. Kills their two drop and. Duress them. Another, another enchantment. Oh, he did get a creature. Can get a two-two. Very nice. Exile is a thing. What do you exile? He exiled Oriad. Oh, and we have a five drop. Wonderful. Let's give our creature plus one plus one indestructible briefly. Exile my graveyard, sure. I mean, it just does everything you want it to do. So he can now, oh, Catapleepus, oof. He can now exile, he's exiling Catapleep, really? Okay, well. Oh, he's stuck on three lands as well. <laughs> Okay, attacking for two. Not gonna bite. Yeah. So, we can attack. He gets to scry two. Gain two life and. Okay, he played a two drop. Oh, we're drawing lands. Okay. Well, I think this is a juicy final death target. Because it does like to come back. So, we are gonna get rid of it. Then get in for five. 
he wants to block. He does not want to block. He just wants to... He gains two life and scries two. Curse is so underwhelming. One top, one bottom, okay. He gotta land. There you go, opponent. I have almost nothing left. I just have a swamp. I could scry. Next turn. Scophos Maze Warden. She can't pump. Getting in. And we're drawing nothing but lands. We're gonna scry now. Yep. Timurit. I guess we want that. Gain some life. So do we trade our dude for... Nah, we just hold it back. Because eh, it kills one of their dudes, and the other one survives. But that's... Eh. He just has a two... But he has some more cards in his hand. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait. Time right, I can exile his graveyard and stuff. Oh, hopefully he doesn't steal it. There, yep. Okay. I was afraid that was going to happen. So we got 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. But we're going to gain some life here, boys and girls. Let's get this, and... This. And then we're going to activate again. Don't have any creatures in there. But let's just get this and the other non land. So. Can't really attack. Hopefully, doesn't have another one of those important get things. Three damage to him, Scry one. Interesting that he didn't pick Timurit. I am gonna block whatever he sends, so. I mean, I have to. Definitely blocking the, this guy. Oops. Oh, I guess he, uh. Let's oops our opponent back. Yep. He meant to kill this, so. But hey, he can get in now. So we're going to block a token, and we're going to block this. We take two. My stuff dies. And we top deck a land, yep. Yep. We, we really flooded there. And we lost a rank, darn. Well, that was embarrassing. That was just kind of a bad hand that I kept. Plus, we got to rest. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I didn't really have any action that game. You guys having fun playing draft? I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, trying not to play white anymore. It seems like I always play white. But if it's the correct decision, I mean, I just have to do it. Well. Well, 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 well. This is just not a good hand. Three, three, all three omens that we have. I got them all in this. Okay, let's keep. We'll put omen to the bottom. Yeah. And then pray. Timurits. Hopefully, we draw another swamp off the top. That would make my day. Oh, we do. Oh my gosh. Okay. We did it. That was. Kind of really lucky top decks, so. 
Very lucky. Three mana. Huh. Okay. Let's let's see. Probably just hero. Not attacking. So you can make this a three four. Not bad. But I can just double block. Targeting my guy. Verbos' intervention, sure. Other land, good. So we can't play this in this because we only have one red. But we will get this down and then um, Exile's Exile's intervention thing. I mean, there's any way to get back instant or sorceries. Yep, exile it. Uh, let's get in. We are not in a good position. First, I got the removal. Oh, he's, we're getting rid of the blacker, sure. Even though this gives trample. Oh, oh he's deciding. Yeah, the, the car's just. Really? That? Okay. Alright. There's another red. I think we just get rid of his thing. He only has three mana. Yeah, we just get rid of that. Then get in. Stuck on three lands. Oh, he gets to escape. Oh yeah, that's... That's it. Just goes over there. Moment of the hunt. There you go, opponent. There you go, opponent. Let's see if he gets a third land color or just another forest. He got a forest. Okay. Faithful end. That's good. I think we... Oh, I do want to try... Eh, whatever. I was thinking about, like waiting for this, but that's just ridiculous. Choose attackers. Get in, get in with old Tim. We have Fateful Ent, so he's excellent in the graveyard. Oh yeah, there goes the escape velocity. Oh well. See, that was relevant. Okay, setting up, setting up. There's the Rage Hound. Oh, we got two. We got options here. Do we want faith? This can kill anything. This can only kill creatures. So, or, well, anyway. Pick that off. Cattle Bleepus. One, two. We only have five lands, but I do want Bleepus. It is more devotion for Tim. Get in. Not looking bad, guys. Let's exile that and that. You don't get a graveyard upon it. You do not get a graveyard this game. We have inevitable end for whatever he plays. Oh, I do need one power. Oh, he's fighting my guy. You fight Timurad or big boy? Probably the big boy. Yeah, probably right. And would you bleep us? Um, I think we exile. Probably that, yep. Gain of life. And we will see. I think my opponent's a little mad at me for, um... For exiling their stuff. Draw two cards, lose two life. Okay. I'm up for you losing two life. Two lands you milled. Might have been hoping for something else. What you got, opponents? Kinda wanna land. So I can play Bleepus. 
But we have this. Opponent tapping some mana. She has access to four mana. Dryad, okay, fine. It's a blocker. Uh, let's, yeah, let's activate. Get rid of this and your mount. Okay. Can do both. Could get rid of that. Well, then we attack first. See if you block. What do you do, opponent? You go down to two? I think he just has lands in his hand. Opponent thinking it over. Giving it a good think over. Spoiler doggy. Or box, dude. Yeah, get that bone, bro. Yeah, what a, who's a good boy? No box. Oh, I can pick that off with this. Nice. Should have blocked, bro. Uh, let's end the turn. Should have blocked. Should have blocked. Cause I can just pick that off. Bleep whatever he plays. Plays a land. Traveler's amulet. Okay. Does he want to land out of his deck? Does he want to shuffle? What does he do? Huh. He gave us the bird, but um Click. Okay, opponent. Yep, you gotta kill that. Oh, I gained three life. Four life. Okay. That's a thing you could do. Oh, again, five life. One. Wait, what's one, two, three, four? Oh, that's because of devotion. Well, that's good for him. Okay, there's a blocker. If I can draw a land. If I can draw a land. I can bleep that to death. Really need a land here. Okay, you got a trigger, opponent. You got a trigger. Doesn't even matter. Uh, let's exile something. Yep, that's. And my graybeard. Nah, we'll just do one. What's well, not a land? Wait. One second creature or enchantment does one damage to target creature that creature can't block. So we ping that. The timber it only is. Okay, well, I think what I do is. Play this on here. Gives him three devotion. This costs two rats. Really need a land. Okay, I think we play Grim Physician. And not attack, unfortunately. Gotta sack something. Sacked. The big guy. Okay, that's a blocker. Oh, gosh, cannot draw land. Okay. 
So I can play an axe. I want to sack this though. Okay, let's do that. Choose targets. One damage. Let's give... Kill this. Okay, opponent. That can't block. Whatever. Opponent's crying. That's not good for me. Let's resolve that. Resolve all. Really wanted to land there. Oh, scribe one to the top. Okay. Next. Hmm. Want to save Timur and the turn. So what does he? What did he scry? Let's see. Got a forest. Good for you. Okay, it's a thing. Let's just get rid of my graveyard. Opponent's graveyard. This and this. Into life. Oh, I can just ping that to death. Uh, I don't have anything to sack, really. Come on, Bleepus. Come on, any land in my deck. Let's go. <sighs> Sorry that this video is taking forever because of our opponents. You can totally get in for two, dude. Totally do it. And there's a land, good. Okay, so we can bleep. What do we bleep? Probably the. I think we bleep the Chimera. Yeah. But we can ping that later. Eh, let's get rid of it. So this has four toughness now. Um, let's go with Tim. Yeah. He has three cards in his graveyard. Now he has three other cards in his graveyard. Okay, you could get that back. Alright, whatever. Could get the Chimera back. Yep. Exiles this graveyard. It's a 5 2. Another land, which we totally wanted. Okay. Let's get Anax down. Um, so we could sack like Bleepus to make that not block. We get a 1 1. Then we can get in for. No, I don't like that. Yeah, we could sack Bleepus. Probably a bad choice. 
ping this. Make that bigger, got a 1-1. One, one. So this can't block. Okay. Next. Only attack with this. Oh, it's only a 2-2 two, two now. Shoot. That was, okay, that was a mistake. Jeez. Jeez. Well, now I can get it back with the Omen, so... It's 21 cards left. Pass to attackers. Doesn't want to attack. Exile. Nah. My turn. Let's draw our lamp. Oh my god! Another swamp! Okay. Could sack the satyr. Yeah, let's just do that. Can't this can't block. Sack the satyr. Grow our dude. And then we get in with Anax. Okay. Oh, he might have a thing. Great. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Down to four. And our Blood Aspirin is a 4-4 four, four now. It's good. Do you want something, you know, other than a land? So opponent thinking it over. Oh boy, that's going to be bad. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. He gets a counter. What does he say? The main recombat. Control another creature power for greater, put a one counter on it. Okay. So that's not good. Getting in, okay. I mean I couldn't kneecap that. Mm. Yeah, I think I think Timurit slip. You know, done done work. Get one satyr. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Let's see. One damage to target creature. That creature can't block. Let's activate. This can't block. Sack this. Get a counter. Choose attackers. This one. Can't block with that. Split Aspirin has been pretty good. Does not block with his 2 2. Hopefully, he doesn't draw anything. Warbrier's Blessing, fighting my Anax, okay. I get a 1-1. One, one. Oh my lord! Oh look, another swamp! Five, nine lands, ten lands. Well, I'm not gonna play it, just a bluff. At one. One. He has to block both. Which would kill one of his creatures. He could. No, I don't think I attack. No attacks. End the turn. at one life. 
This is really frustrating. Sacrifice is a creature. Resolve. Oh, I can just get a free counter. That's fine. Probably gonna sack that anyway. Do you have another one of those? Thanks for the free counter, bro. And now this is too big for him to block. Profitably. Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me. Well, let's get in with this. Hope he doesn't have a thing. And the turn. So he just can't attack anymore. So one life. Only does this, this did any target. Just target creature though. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. Well, let's attack. This could get him that back. Yes. I, I have no more graveyard hate. I cannot believe how many lands we've drawn in a row. Eclay of Affliction. That's bad. Can you just die, opponent? You're at one life. This is really frustrating. Can I address something other than a basic land? Or a land? Come on. What does he get back? Even though I've been exiling like crazy, he... Moss Viper? Oh god. Yeah, Moss Viper. Oh. Yep. Hopefully I can ping that to death. Okay. Well, now he has a board and I really don't. Drag to the underworld. So he has two more cards in his graveyard. I just need to kill that viper. <sighs> Alright, let's kill the viper. So he has to block with everything. Maybe this is incorrect, but... I may just jump blocks. Okay, there's that. They both die. Okay, well... I guess he can get this back. Yeah. Great. He has nothing else. Let's so we've exiled four cards. Man, I wish I had Tim Rat back, then I could exile his crap. Just so many lands though, jeez. I have fifteen cards left, he has eight cards left. Maybe we can mill him. <laughs> Maybe we can mill him. Yep, that's the thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If that goes a distance, I'm gonna be very sad. So 12, 13, 14. There are three more lands in my deck. And he just gained a bunch of life. Great. Another statistic. 
Okay. Well... I can't... I guess when you get down to it, I mean, I am drawing my whole deck, so... He was at one life. I'm annoyed. Let's kill that. Second drag to the underworld. It's done. Wow, he ha Okay. He drew all the way down to the fifth card. Okay. Well, well you could have you could have come in handy before, bro. A little late to the party. I literally could have domed him for two with this. Then let's activate. And Omen of the Forge and Infuriate, put Infuriate to the bottom. So will take the Omen. Play a uh, Mountain. Now he can play red stuff. Which apparently he was trying to do the entire game. He's up five, I'm at six. Got four cards left, I have 11. So let's see who mills first, probably not me. I need a creature, and I don't know if I have any left. Where did he exile? Uh, he exiled Fate Foreign. Okay, or something. I didn't. Even, I I literally just missed that. Splitter boy, good boy. Uh. Oh, I can kill it. Nice. Well, let's wait. Pass. The omen. Let's try that. Yeah, let's get that guy. Took my. One of the few creatures I got left. Modern has two cards left. So let's play the land, sure. Modern has one card left in his deck. Good game. Oh, he's a good game in us. Huh. Uh. Draw card. There's our land that we wanted. Clothus. Okay. So you can add a mana or gain two life or something. Yeah, that's probably his only red card. Don't know if you realize he has one card left. Ooh, I have a thing. Go temple, thief, go temple, thief, go. Go temple, go temple, go. Uh, let's play our swamp. So five, six, seven, eight, fifteen lands. That's his last card. And I think we just pass. Getting rid of Ad Adex. Cool. Okay, kill that. Go ahead. Do we just pass? I think we just pass, but whatever. Maybe we can get a card in his library. And we win. Came down to decking. Came down to decking. Sorry about that long game. Just so grindy. Okay. Well, that was a win. Very painful win. But it was a win. Ooh. Appleton 
Apple teeny, please. Huh. This might be a girl. Okay, we got two drops and the three drops. I'll keep it. Risk being flooded. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Throw him a bone. <laughs> okay, they uh, mulliganed. Can kill their two drop. Or one drop. White. Let's play this. You got opponent. Okay, that's a thing to kill. Hmm. Yeah, let's kill it. Let's kill it. Fortunately, they can you know get it back, but not too worried about that right now. Plus four mana and some of three other cards. Okay. Can't block my guy. Also can't block my guy. Relevant. Okay, so. Do we want this side or this out? I think this. It's got bigger power. Or toughness. So they can't block. They're both enchantment creatures. End the turn. I do want to try red white one of these days. Because I love that card hero of the Nyxborn. Just look aesthetically looks cool. Pending doom on that. Okay, well. That's not good for me. Well, now he has a 4-5. That's really bad. Plus, he has all seed up. Wait, this costs 3. Oh, minus 2. Okay. He has all seed up, which he will just probably just keep leaving up. That's... Not good. For me. Maybe I can just outrace him. Play this. And we'll just attack. He has four power, I have four power. And we will uh, we'll play this. Can deal one damage to his thing. What do I sack though? I guess the omen. It's sack a creature or enchantment. Yeah, I could sack the forge. Omen. Oh the forge. Let's ping that. This has to attack now. So that's the plan, is to ping this. Another... Well. Oh, come on, drag. Come on, drag. Seven in the air. Well. Okay, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So do I ping that? Yeah, I just kill it. Then I can scry. For combat, I stack one of these omens to give this a counter. I wasn't thinking about it. Yep. So, omens ability. Let's activate. 
Yep, get it a counter. There's drag. Okay, there we go. And then we just kill that. Let's see, he has a pump of some sort. Which I would just die. But you got opponent. He's not slamming it. Doesn't have plus two. Because I can just literally just drag this and he loses. Has to attack though. So if he doesn't have a pump, he loses or damage of any sort. Oh, just lose opponent. Don't drag this out. Who's a good boy? Yep, that was it. Finally made a big. Oh, we oh we rank up. Gold, boys and girls. I'd like to thank my mother. I'd like to thank my cat, Cubby. I'd like to thank all my viewers. Thank you so much. We finally made it to gold. And we got some gold and experience. Look at that vault. Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, an hour and 20 minutes. Maybe we could fit one more game in. Then I'll just end the video. Do a part two. That was a pretty interesting game. I just had enough, like, two and three drops to get through. Plus I had dragged to the underworld, which, you know, it would have dealt him six damage because of the enchantments. Okay. I, I have a two drop and a thing to play on turn three and scry. Okay. We try it. Hopefully one more swamp and all creatures from here on out. But it has mulliganed. It's a six and they have seven. That's a creature. That's good. Let's play our aspirant. Play well, aspirant. I think that means he like inhales blood. Blue white, okay. Actually I haven't seen much blue so far. There's another dragon in the underworld. And play this and pass the turn. We can sack uh, sack this to draw a card. I think we just attack with it. There's our swamp. Hmm. Let's just drag that through the underworld. Yep. Keep attacking. Get an attack through. Fortunately, fateful end. It's not enough that time. Okay. So we play this. Then we play current position. This is a discount on drag. We can't play drag now. Okay. Um, do something sneaky with this. Kind of do want to do that. Yeah. So activate. Sack this. Oh, that was stupid. That was dumb. Stack. Let's attack. That was not an optimally played turn. <laughs> uh, mistakes were made. Definitely. 
Or at least his reflection is dead. Fear of the Winds. Another land. Okay, we drag that. Get in for two. Play our two three. Yep. Hopefully no enchantments for our opponent. But they got four cards, so. Oh, well, he's do thinking about something. Sentinel's eyes. Okay. Big attack for him. Fortunately, now he's out of reach of our fateful end. Opponent is attacking. No blocks. Yeah, I might have thrown that game. Thrown the game with that last uh, that last turn. Let's get rid of. Well, I think we attack and then kill that. Yeah. He blocks. Fortunately, we'll have to. What is he block with? Blocking that. Okay. Two damage. That's fine. Hopefully, no Starlet Mantle or whatever it's called. He's thinking about it. Dominable will. Yep, that'll that'll save it. Oh, and he gets a plus one anyway. So he's really not dead. Omen, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I... Yeah, he had it. Another plus one. Wow. It's a big Lyrios. Let's get in for six. Yeah, this didn't go very well. <laughs> I kind of threw this game. So we have two damage. And we're going to snipe this guy because he's annoying. Then we're going to activate this. Put both of these lands to the bottom. And we're going to jump and see if we survive here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here comes Staring Insight or something crazy. Gosh, this... Here that's Pilgrim. Okay, Star the Mantle, so I can just not kill stuff. Okay, go away. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Four or five. I think we just block. Would have liked to draw a card, but we're out of mana. This is one of those games where mistakes were made. Okay, we can get a thing back. What do we get? Hopefully something to gain us life. Well... Nothing good. Nothing good, boys and girls. I think we just get this and uh, pray. We can sack it now for for a card. And the turn. They're at ten though, so they're not that far ahead. Heliod's punishment. Oh, I lose.
Uh, he has exactly six damage. Yep, and he had exactly what he needed. Good game. Sometimes I make game throwing mistakes, and I just made a mistake there. Okay, so that's enough for this video. Um, I'm going to do a part two for sure, but for now, I'm just going to end it here. So thanks for watching, and have a good one. Make sure you like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye.